Hey everyone, my name is Nolan. Welcome back to another Pixel Gun 3D video. And yes, I know my mic's different again. Turns out my adapter broke, so I can't connect my microphone to my phone anymore. So you'll have to bear with me. Anyways, today I'm going to be going over a very highly requested video. What do I buy in the armory in Pixel Gun? I'll give you guys what I think are the best options for each category, as well as some other options in case you have them. Also, just remember, this is strictly weapons available in the armory, nothing in the gallery or anything like that. For more Pixel Gun videos, do not forget to smash that like button and also subscribe so you guys don't miss a video from me. Also, if you want to go above and beyond to support the channel, use my web store link down in the description to get in-game purchases. It would just greatly support the channel. All right, let's jump into the actual video. So we'll start off with the primary category. And by the way, these are just in order of how you unlock them. So the first one I recommend getting is Casanova. This weapon isn't really like the best primary in the game. However, for lower, lower levels, um, it's going to be a very, very good option. Its DPS is decent and it's just pretty well balanced, especially because you won't be playing against level 65 players. You don't really have to worry about sweats one-shotting you all the time. So yeah, it's just generally a good pick. However, once you outrank that, you're gonna wanna get Crystal Laser Cannon. Crystal Laser Cannon does more damage but it fires way faster and chews through ammo, so you gotta be very careful when using it. Still, this weapon is very fun and it's also a classic. I highly recommend getting it. It's pretty dang fun to use. However, if you guys want a shotgun, I'd recommend getting the prehistoric shotgun. Its ammo isn't that great, but it actually has a pretty decent base damage. It's basically like Viking, but with less damage and it's available in the armory for coins. So all in all, not really a bad deal and you can get some pretty decent gameplay with it. The next one you're going to want to get is Secret Forces Rifle, and this weapon I would argue is actually the best weapon you can buy for the primary category in the armory. Now don't go leave a hate comment yet, stick with me and I'll explain why. Its DPS is the highest out of the ones we've talked about so far, it has pretty decent ammo and a scope and decent fire rate and so it's just all around very well balanced and good. However, the next weapon I wanted to mention is Neutron Pulsator, and the reason why this weapon isn't the best you can buy is just because it costs gems. Typically, if you guys are looking for armory weapons, you guys are going to want to buy those weapons that cost coins, because most of the time, Trader's Van weapons are going to be better than armory weapons, and so if you have gems to spend, you might as well buy, buy weapons in the Trader's Van. That's not always the case, but generally it's the case, especially with Neutron Pulsator. The weapon itself is very good and fun to use, but I would just recommend getting other weapons first. And since you can get coins super easy, I would just recommend getting Secret Forces Rifle over all of them because it's just the best bang for your buck. Now we're gonna move on to the backup category and this one's gonna be a quick one. The first weapon you're gonna wanna get is Exterminator and I would actually recommend getting this right away. However, don't focus on upgrading it too much. This weapon is pretty good. It's basically like a sniper in the backup category but with less damage and higher fire rate. But the reason why I don't really recommend fo focusing on this weapon too much is because Thunderer is literally just Exterminator but better. It's the same exact weapon, it just has more damage and what you guys will notice is it's actually one-shotting bots in the background where Exterminator wasn't. However, I could be dumb and I could have had different modules on. Now that I'm saying this, I probably had different modules on. If you guys don't know, uh, basically there's a very popular play style in the game called three cat spam, also known as three category spam. Basically what you do is you pick three high damage weapons and you switch between them after each shot. I'll give you guys some gameplay in this video. But basically Exterminator and Thunderer are going to be some pretty good three cat weapons that later on in the game you will use a lot. So like I said, Thunderer, it's just going to be the best weapon for the backup category because it's basically like a sniper in the backup category. Another option is Dual Hawks. These are pretty good for spamming. Um, however, their damage isn't great. And once you get into higher level lobbies like mine, people are going to have ultimate defense armor and a bunch of mythical armor that basically just makes this weapon kind of obsolete. Moving on to the melee category, the first one I'm going to recommend is Dark Force Saber, mainly because you can get this weapon so early and it has a high mobility. Giving yourself an advantage in mobility will give you guys a lot of advantages just in general in the game. On top of that, its damage is pretty decent, so might as well get it. On top of that, you don't really need to upgrade it because 85 mobility, it'll just be good, and you're not really going to use melee weapons for getting kills anyways. However, if you do want a melee weapon that can get kills, then the next weapon I recommend you get is Storm Hammer. It'll generally be about a three shot however i mean at my level 
Stormhammer sucks, I'll just be honest. However, I bought this on my alt account because it was actually pretty good when I bought it. The next weapon I recommend you get is Elder Force Saber. This weapon, again, is basically just Dark Force Saber, but a little bit better. On top of that, I think it looks cooler. And I think the best weapon you can buy for the melee category is going to be Jet Tenderizer. Even though this weapon doesn't have 85 ability, it only has 65, this weapon is going to be a one-shot charge shot weapon, which is really good. I would recommend sticking with Elder Force Saber for mobility. However, if you're looking for a weapon that can get kills, Jet Tenderizer is going to be the way to go. It's very good, and it has area damage, so you can get multiple kills at the same time. Next up, we're going to move on to the special category. The special category isn't going to be too helpful for the beginning stages of the game. However, if you're looking for a good special weapon, I'd recommend getting High Voltage. This weapon has a pretty dang high DPS. The only problem is, is its range is extremely limited, and it also chews through ammo incredibly fast. However, you can get several kills with it, so it's still a good weapon. Um, also, another thing that sucks about this weapon is this reload time is so long. However, guys, it is still a pretty good filler weapon until you guys can get some better weapons. The next weapon I recommend you guys get is Electromagnetic Cannon, and arguably, this is the best weapon you can get for the category, and just hear me out. Earlier, I talked about a playstyle called 3-cap, and Electromagnetic Cannon is going to be very, very powerful for the 3-cap playstyle. A lot of new players have no idea what they're doing when it comes to 3-cap, so having a special weapon that has no delay whatsoever is going to be pivotal. Electromagnetic Cannon has high damage and no delay, making it decent for 3-cap at close range. Basically, what no delay means is that you can switch from Exterminator to this weapon to a Sniper with no delay, allowing you to do tons of damage at one time. It does have travel time, which will take some getting used to, but I highly recommend getting this weapon because it will be very good to practice using this for 3 cap. You can't really get any no delay weapons anyways for the special category. I'm pretty sure poison darts is not available for coupons. So I think that this is just as good as it's going to get until you guys can get like Necklace of the Ice King or Poison Darts or Cyber Cat Lantern. You guys could also get Reflector, however Reflector has delay and having delay in the special category is not particularly ideal, especially when there aren't really any backups or snipers that have zero delay. However, that being said, Reflector is basically a sniper in the special category, so it does a pretty good amount of damage and can one shot headshot. Next up, we're going to move on to the sniper category. The first sniper I recommend recommend you guys get is prototype however i wouldn't really focus on this weapon too much it costs gems so it's not really ideal however 150 gems isn't a lot on top of that it can one shot headshot and has a pretty decent fire rate so it is actually a pretty good option however like i said don't pour every coin or gem you get into this weapon because it will get very quickly outranked and the weapon that will outrank it is anti-hero rifle and this is definitely the best weapon you can buy in the category because this weapon is actually just one of the best snipers in the game. This weapon will carry you all the way to like a maxed out account. Basically, if you mythicalize it and get level 10 modules, it will one shot ultimate defense armor, which is very, very good. You basically won't need to get another sniper after this one unless you can get anti-champion rifle or harsh punisher. Those are really the only other snipers that you'll need to get besides this one. So I highly recommend getting this one as soon as possible and focusing on it because it'll just greatly improve your gameplay. On top of that, pairing this with Electromagnetic Cannon and Thunderer will get you very, very good gameplay for 3 cat. The final weapon I recommend you get is Railgun. Like I said though, Anti-Hero Rifle is just going to be the best option. However, if you have that and you're looking to switch it up a little bit, Railgun is still a high damage weapon that you guys can use to get some pretty good gameplay. And finally, we got the Heavy category. The first weapon I recommend you get is Anti-Gravity Blaster. Now, I know that may sound stupid, but just hear me out. The weapon is only rare, so it's going to be very cheap. Its base damage is 80, which for a rare weapon is pretty dang good. It's going to be dirt cheap to upgrade to epic and legendary if you guys want to get some extra damage. I think I said epic. Did I? Or did I say epic? <laughs> I don't know. And on top of that, you can get it early in the game, so it'll just be very good for a while. Also, it has rocket jump and no delay, so you could even 3-cat or just get some movement in with it. Even though it's not the greatest, it's still a very well-rounded heavy weapon I highly recommend you get. However, I think the circus cannon is going to be the best option for the heavy category. It has a very high damage, and as you guys can see, I'm able to one 
shot with it. Its fire rate is very slow, so that, it, that is something you have to be very cautious about. You cannot spam this weapon. You're definitely going to want to 3-cat with it, because spamming, will just you'll get like one kill per life. However, its damage is still pretty good, so I recommend you get it, especially because I'm pretty sure it doesn't have fixed delay. And the final weapon is going to be Space Disinfector. This weapon is alright. It's not really too good for damage. Um, however, it has a fast fire rate and high ammo, so basically, it's just going to be very, very good for movement. I personally like using the heavy category for movement, so I would actually use this weapon over the two other weapons I talked about previously. So if you're at that stage in the game where your loadout's looking pretty good, consider switching out the heavy weapon for a movement heavy like space disinfector. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up the video there. Hopefully you guys found this video nice and helpful. If you did, do not forget to like and subscribe for more top videos like this one. And as always, thank you guys all for watching, and I hope to see you guys all in the next video. Peace!